Titanus Gojira, widely known as Godzilla, first appeared in 1954. The Titan is considered to be a hero, though he will do anything necessary to protect the Earth from threats. Godzilla is shown to be the most dominant out of the rest of the Titans. We call him the king of Ooh. the monsters. Alright guys, so we're back at the gym. If you guys haven't noticed by now, by my out of breath, my sweat, I already started warming up. So, I already took two plates. So, I'm gonna hurry up and mix my pre workout so that I can essentially just sit on my camera and start recording. And then we'll do some yapping later. But I just wanna show you that. As promised, I did bring a new flavor today. This is a sour gummy. I'm gonna take a scoop real quick and then I'll let you guys know what I think about that. All right, just mix it up. I'm about to give you guys an IRL, well, real time recording of what I think about this. All right, I low key messed with this. I like this one better than the blue raspberry for sure. Cause it actually tastes like what it's supposed to. But all right, I'm gonna chug this and I get to do my next one. All right guys, so I did 550 for my single. It moved a lot better than I was expecting just because my forearms were kind of fatigued and sore going into this bench session. But I could just tell that like as I was warming up and getting closer and closer to like my top that I knew like, okay, I'm still warming up. So as long as I'm aware that my body is still warming up, then it's just gonna feel better, right? And then for my first set of eight, I did one, either 170 or 175, so 375 or 386 for eight, and then I went straight to 441. A very sloppy set. Well, I only got seven, but I honestly sometimes I ask myself like how how the heck did I ever do like 446 for eight? Like how the heck did I ever do like? Some of, the, some of the sets I've done for bands are pretty crazy. Like, I think my best set of six is 507 or 512, maybe. Uh, I have to double check that. But anyways, so, last, last set of eight, and then I have accessories. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done, and then uh, I'll see you guys over there. I think I have incline dumbbell bench, so. This is where you get better. 
it's not just on your bench. And even to take it a step further, it's not about the accessories you're doing. It's about the body of work. A through Z, not just A, B, or D, or G, or L, or M. Every single checkbox. Are you hitting it? Are you doing everything you possibly can? Or are you just a lot of talk? Do you just want to be where your heroes are? When in reality, you should be your own hero. Like, be your own inspiration. Be your own motivation. Dream better. Fight harder. Go further. All right. So, just got done with my dumbbell incline. This is the heaviest I've gone in a while. I think week one, I might have... I think I did like the 75s. And then week two last week, I did the 85s. And then I think, and then today I did the 100s. So I think for week four, I'm in line to do the 120s. I'm, I'm trying to push these accessories within a reasonable scope. Just because normally, like when I do accessories, like I just try to get a pump. I'm just trying to, you know, promote healthy blood flow, kind of do it like some form of active recovery but ultimately i gotta start pushing these movements as well i can't just stay um what's the word stagnant you know i gotta i gotta move forward i gotta have some positive momentum and that just doesn't start with the compounds but it also it also it doesn't end with the compounds it ends with the accessories so i gotta go through all my all my phases all my all my motions and i gotta do them to the best of my ability Alright guys, so this is probably going to conclude today's video. Another good um, session in the books. <sighs> Glory be to God, my mom just got released today. So every single one of you guys who prayed for her, I am in y'all's debt. Thank you for being good people and taking even three seconds out of your day to pray for my mother. Thank you. But... Hey, 550 for today's single, 386 for eight, 441 for seven, 375 for eight, and then I did 100. The hundreds for a three by, three sets of something for dumbbell incline bench, and then I did um, dumbbell alternating curls, followed by some uh, mag grip seated pull downs. I do have some forearm work to do, but I'm gonna just do that at home. I have my grippers and my little thing, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'll probably go to a failure today on, on every set, just to kind of make up for that lost hypertrophy. But where I'm at mentally right now, it's just difficult to talk to the camera and talk to you guys because I'm of the mindset of like, man, like, I'm just here to work. I'm not really here to like create content. I'm not really here to record YouTube or anything, but it's just something that I do to show you guys what I go through in a day to day because it isn't always rainbows and sunshines like it isn't every single day every single session isn't always some glorified amazing top set like but right now man it's like there's some BS going on and it just kind of makes me not want to talk it makes me want to be like you know like like get out of my face type stuff but neither here nor there you know that's where being an adult comes into play is you learn when to you you learn to choose your battles and you learn how to talk 
you know when it is, you know, you learn to know when it's time to talk, when it's time to raise your voice, when it's time to be a little bit more gentler, and et cetera, et cetera, right? It isn't, you're not always acting impulsively. It's, there's gotta be some construction, some direction to your motion, to your movements. Like, you just can't be a, a loose cannonball. Like, a loose cannonball is really just a piece of metal with no, no force, no direction, no impact. But you have a cannon pointed somewhere. You get gunpowder and the cannonball. Now you're a weapon of destruction. So give me a hashtag cannonball, guys. Whew, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to record some. I, I keep saying this. I mean, I may or may not record. I think I'm going to start doing different kind of videos on Wednesdays just to kind of keep the consistency going, right? Not just old, not just training sessions every single day but maybe something something out of the ordinary maybe like a a real vlog brother but anyways i gotta go guys uh my shirt's drying over there i'm like i'm like just dripping so you gotta make sure i drink my post-workout shake and i get some water in me because this heat don't play around baby but all right guys you guys stay tuned and I will see you on the next video.